guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episodes 22 and 23 of season 3 of Bakuman. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm cold now. Gotta hate when that happens. <laughs> hmm? Basically. <laughs> Please tell me he's not going to be depressed for like the last few episodes of the show, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Of course she's gonna call him up again. Perfect. Probably so. <clears throat> My throat. <laughs> of course she is. Yeah, but I think people have already figured it out, though. Oh, you say so, but... Mm, yeah. <laughs> yes. Damn it!
fucking everywhere now. Oh my god. You have to. <laughs> the elephant in the room. But what else can she do, though? That's good, because, you know, sometimes, like, with certain animes, some people don't, it seems like some people don't respect. Because of favoritism! Exactly. Now, unless she denies it and stuff, and then it goes on the download, then yeah, she can have the role. <laughs> that is a good question. Uh. Yes, maybe you shouldn't have let them know that you two are dating.
Mm-hmm. It would be the best thing. Oh my god, back up. Yeah, of course, but it's for the best, though. Oh my god, shut up!
Exactly. I just fucking love oh my god <laughs> Thank you like, oh. I mean I knew we were gonna have some people who were gonna be very biased and not really like the fact that you know of course she's come out and said hey I'm dating someone this gives me feel straight up to, I think it was season Season two or season three of a Gretzko? I think it was season three when she joined an idol group. And there was all, all the fans of this idol group loved the fact that Gretzko came in and added like a new sound to this group, right? But by like the last few episodes, um, I think it was like the last two or three, there was one fan, one of those big, big, big fans that unfortunately didn't like the sound of Red Skull being in this idol group and so they were trying to do a not so nice deed and you know wish harm on her and everything it, it, this is when it truly got real and such and I was like oh shit like are we really about to do this in this show I mean I've seen other animes and then also you know freaking American television not not all American television just some do things like that but oh <laughs> like thank god thank god no one was like she was walking home either by herself or with someone and someone decided to attack her and such because I mean when it comes to a point like so many freaking controversies for anyone no matter where the fuck you live, but specifically, like, if you are a celebrity, you do something, you know, like, you're an influencer or something, and you do something that ends up making your fans, or maybe even parts of your fans lash out on you, and you're, you're really scared to kind of go outside, because you don't know what the fuck could happen next, um... And so I feel bad for, like, people, you know, specifically, like, some, not all, some, some, um, because we could talk about one, and I think everybody knows this one. All I'm going to say is, um, the controversy on this couple, they're both singers, one of them is a voice actor, and because of what one of them did he was in a couple of shows he's still in one show as this character and he because the one series that he's in they're like oh we're not going to change this voice actor we're going to keep him but in everything else he's kind of gotten changed in order to take off like the heat that he's getting because of this and with who this person was married to and because of the fact is that a lot of people support the person who he was married to clearly um there there was a lot of backlash um due to this controversy and i think there still is i mean there it's so it's interesting even when like the one show that he was in I, um, search of the tea tokyo that's all i'm gonna say 
I don't remember what character he plays. I've never seen the show, though, but I just know he's in it and such. Um, even the, the fans of that show, they didn't know anything about it until very last minute. It was the same thing with um, the situation of the misfit of Demon King. The misfit of Demon King Academy, and the fact is that he also got changed on there, too. And it was, I think it was announced, like, a couple of weeks ago. About almost maybe a month. Between this month and last month. Um, and so people were wondering why the fuck the voice actor got changed and stuff. And that was when a lot more things were coming out where it had to be rehashed and stuff. Because, of course, a lot of people didn't know. So, I mean, it is very scary for anything, a big old controversy that comes out, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Because you don't know, personally, how fans are really going to react to this uproar. It could be for a good positive thing or something bad. And you never really want to send um, stayus or even English voice actors or any voice actor death threats. That's the one thing you never really want to do. I mean, you know, <clears throat> Rent a Girlfriend and Darling and the Franks for an example. Those were the top two series that I know I reacted to that um, personally the controversies of death threats to stayus and voice actors over the character that they played was fucking high and I, I thought I would never and, and like all my years that I fucking watch anime I thought I was never gonna see some shit like that but in the world that we live in today of course it's gonna happen and it's probably gonna happen on numerous occasions so I just I really hope people when they do decide to send something just remember that that's a person on the other side that's the same thing with fucking social media and even myself as a YouTuber, like, know the fact that we're still humans and that we make mistakes. But sending someone death threats or whatever isn't going to make your day happy or even better by seeing that person upset. Don't send someone something just because you're upset. That's it. Moral of the story, end of the day, that's my little two cent. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 23. Okay, episode 23 and 3, 2, 1, go. Change the channel. Mm hmm <laughs> I'm just okay here's the thing because we only have like officially now not counting this two more episodes left and of course I'm probably either going to watch them today is Wednesday I work tomorrow and Friday and Saturday Maybe I will watch the last two episodes tomorrow, and then so I can start the next show that the person who requested this show, um, blah, 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 the next show to watch after this show and such, same person requested it and stuff. I might watch that Saturday after Pretty Cure, I don't really know yet, um, because next week, the only days that I have off is next Saturday and next Sunday, because I got to work every day next week. Um, and I feel like I'm probably not going to have any day to record my Patreon shit, so I kind of want to do it this weekend. But, um, biggest thing that I'm kind of hoping for, like, the last two episodes is that at least we get to see their wedding. I mean, you know, what Akito and me, um, 
Not me whole. Kaya, we got to see a little bit of their wedding and such and everything, which was sweet. But I really want to see it with these two. Like, before this show is over next week. That's all I fucking want. Now, if we don't really get to see it, and if it's in the manga, then I'm going to just start reading the manga. And I'm okay with that, too. Well, not really up until, you know, I say. Hmm? Well, yeah. I hope. See, you say that, but... What?
chorus. <laughs> you won't know unless. Oh, I'm so scared for her because I mean like uh, this is a one in a million chance who knows what could happen I am too I'm proud of all of you Of course, all these fans would be here as well because it's public. Oh, shit.
I'm scared. This is so freaking hard because they're all good. Watch her go last. Is she winging this? There had to be a reason why she said that. but she was doing it from the manga.
Ah, oh, shit. Thank God. All right. Oh my god, fucking bitches. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that she's fucking studied it, unlike the rest of y'all. I was like, oh god, if she loses this, like, how is this gonna go for, like, the last two episodes? But, oh god. 
<sighs> I want to cry so bad right now, but I can't. I'm so happy! Oh my god! You know how when you feel like you're when your best boy or best girl comes home, that's what it is. Like, oh god! Like, let's go back to my first week of work at my new job, and my best girl came home. <laughs> o'clock in the morning and then I had to go to bed but oh my god because of course she's voiced by the same person <laughs> and so I'm just like bruh because I have been wanting this card for like ever ever since last freaking year in March when we found out we were getting second versions of like cards and everything So, like, March came, and so we got an announcement on this game that I'm playing, Cinderella Girls, that um, <laughs> we were getting noir cards of Cinderella Fest. And so I'm like, okay, cool, like, it was going to be the first one and stuff. And so it was so funny because the night of, because, like, typically we have to wait until about, like, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning to see who the next, like, what the new card is going to be. And so it was 12 o'clock, and it was like, no, it was 12.30. Then it went from 12.30 to 12.40, and then 12.40 to 12.50. And I was like, I was sitting here, and I was like, all right, we got 10 minutes left, all right? And so out of nowhere, I was like, <laughs> what if it's Kaede, a.k.a. the voice of the character who Saudi Hayamine plays in Cinderella Girls? And then, like, a second later, I was like, what if it's Kaede? And I started having this big, behind, massive panic attack. Mind you, it is 12 o'clock in the morning, and I am sitting here on my phone trying to calm my ass down. And, I and I'm over here like, no, it's not going to be her. Like, stop, stop, stop. It's not going to fucking be her. But at the same time, I'm like, it's her. It's her. It's her. And so I was like dreading one o'clock to come because I was like, once we find out who this is, I was like, I'm either going to have the greatest day of my life or this is going to be the worst day of my life. So one o'clock comes. And so I log in like I'm supposed to. And it, it shows up and I'm like, please, God. God, please be with me today. I was like, please just be with me today. I was like, I need this. So I see a picture. And it's of this girl, like, standing on, like, this rock. There's water behind her and another island and such. And she has her hand up. And she has a ring on her finger. And her hand is, like, where the moon is, right? And so I look at her hair. And I went, shit. It's Kayate. And so my mom was just about to go to bed. And so I <laughs> I yell out like this big scream, squeal, whatever the heck I was making at 1 o'clock in the morning. Because I was freaking out. I was like, God damn it. Like, we had to start with the number one. The big boss first. We had to start with the best girl. My best girl first. I was like, bruh, I have no gems. I have nothing. What am I supposed to do? So what did your girl do? Even though she barely had gems, I was like, you know what? <laughs> We're going to go for this card. We're going to try for this card. And I didn't get the card. So flash forward to last week on um, on the 16th. We were still getting free pulls and it was still sent us. So I was like, you know what? It's the last day of Noir Fest. And I was like, this is my last time up until this because uh we are we also had like our freaking the results of um the fucking new year's thing and everything so i was like okay i gotta figure out one who this girl is for this year's noir fest two what the fuck i got in the poll so we found out it was like one of my other best girls on the station and then i found out i got number two so i was like all right this is my last chance <laughs> with this free poll that i'm gonna have for like two for like an extra day or so um, to figure out, like, if Kayede is going to come home. So I did a, for, I did a poll, nothing came home. I did single pulls, nothing came home. And then I was like, okay, I got, like, 15K. 
I was like, I'm not going to spend all of this, but I'm going to spend as much as I can. And finally, after a whole fucking year, my best girl came home. My number one came home. And then two pulls later, Anastasia came home. So that was literally like the best day of my fucking life. For her to finally come home on me starting a new chapter of a new job in my life, like, and such, was just the... <laughs> One of the most, like, interesting slash funny things, because it, it's so weird where, like, whether I've had traumatic things happen to me or good things happen to me, always in a weird way when I do a gotcha, that character that I like the most ends up coming home and such. And so Kayete has been one of those characters that has really helped me through, like, the last few years of my life, especially with, like, everything that's kind of truly happened to me ever since I started YouTube up until now. She's always been like that one, not only a comfort character, but that one character that's like, you know, hey, keep going. Like, you can do this for yourself, but also like, in a way, do it for for her. Like, if you understand what I mean and such. Um, it, it's sweet <laughs> and such. And so, yeah, your girl was crying at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I was on Twitter like, oh my God! <laughs> so, but yeah, to have that feeling for Azuki now, I'm so happy for her that she got the role. Even if the fact is that, yes, people would be a little biased, like, oh, hey, you only got this role because of the fact is of your boyfriend and such. But the fact is that she went in, did it right, and proved not only to other seiyus, but also to fans who either still support her or, you know don't really like her anymore she was able to prove people wrong and say like I can get this role without having help from my boyfriend and stuff I can get it on my own that's what really you know all of us are trying to do at the end of the day where it's like we don't have all those little quote-unquote connections from people and such like um you don't want to be like okay like just because let's say like one of your family members is working somewhere and you also want to work there too 50 out of 50 that connection that you have is either going to be the greatest thing in the world for you or it's going to be the worst or it's going to harm you and stuff because they're going to think okay just because you're like the daughter of whoever or the son of whoever the cousin of whoever the aunt uncle niece nephew whatever and such um doesn't mean we're automatically going to hire you or we're automatically going to take you in because of this. It gets you some like a name pushed in there, but at the same time, they want to see what you're capable of. And so I'm glad that Azuki was able to do that, especially because like, I can't even remember when the last time we had like the Azuki focus like type of episode. I think it was the one episode where, you know, Mashiro came in grabbed her and then ran out where they kind of had their little date in a way and such um which was like very like a while back ago but because I'm watching so many things it's like ugh, I don't know but other than that guys that was my reactive view towards episodes 22 and 23 of season 3 of Bakuman if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I mean <laughs> I can't speak. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially out next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for the final two episodes of this show and initially my final thoughts on this show overall. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!